Hey there, welcome back to Reddit XO, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. Cheated on by wife. Left for another guy. She still texts me frequently and cries to me how I'm doing better than her and how it's not fair. This is my first Reddit post, so I'll try my best. I don't know all of the acronyms yet, but I'm working on it. If my writing and tales seem disjointed, it's because I'm writing from the top of my brain, ideas, and feelings right now. Sorry. To begin, I am 31 years old, male, and my wife is 28 years old, female. We have two children, ages 7 and 5. My wife requested a divorce on August 27, 2020. She departed that day and was reportedly staying with her mother. The next day, I get texts from her cousin claiming that she has been cheating on me. Wife maintains she has never done so up to this point. We met a week later to perform a Zoom meeting on her phone to meet our son's instructor online. She receives a Facebook message that says, only a few hours, eggplant emoji, peach emoji, sweat emoji. I asked her after the meeting if she could clarify it, and she replied she didn't want to speak about it and that she had already erased the texts. She claimed it was one of her pals, since my wife was out on a date and apparently girlfriends get thrilled for one other and believe they're going to get banged, which I definitely did not believe. I became enraged and urged her to go. She informed me she was bringing the kids to another city to see her grandparents and go swimming for Thanksgiving, which is in October for us in Canada. She ended up lying and went to a hotel with our kids and this person she allegedly cheated on me with. The automobile engine broke up and died on the way back. The automobile she battled me for and still owes about $12,000 on and makes payments on every couple of weeks. This is when I started to believe in karma a little bit more. Between September and November, my wife and I drank and had around five or six times. I still desired her return and really want to have with her. I'm understanding now that she's been seeing this man for quite some time. I discovered photos of them approximately a week and a half ago. I haven't spoken to her since I viewed those photos and verified everything. I really wanted to accept all of her falsehoods, even the blatant ones, so she cheated on me, dumped me for him, and then cheated on him with me. Just two weeks ago, before I knew for sure, she came over and we were chatting, and she let me feel her up and gave her a full body massage. I have no idea what's going on in her thoughts right now. Some further information. The kids are okay, my apartment is tidy, and I've shed 50 pounds since she left. 235 pounds down to 185 pounds. She's came to my house a number of times and wept to me about how unfair it is that I'm doing so much better than she is. She's complained that it's not fair that I'm doing all of this now, rather than when we were together. On Christmas, she assured me she still loved me and got me presents. Not just trash, but a bottle of sake. Since she knows how much I want to visit Japan and cook ramen and other Japanese dishes, so she gave it some consideration. I don't intend to be disrespectful, but she doesn't look very nice these days either. She's gained weight and has been heavily involved with drugs and alcohol. She claims to cry all the time. She told me she was depressed with me, left me expecting things would get better, but she is still melancholy, which bothers her. But, as we all know, happiness comes from inside, and she doesn't have any. So, if you abandon me for someone else, be glad about it and make the most of it. She hasn't contacted me in four days. This is the longest she has gone without texting me in four months. When we were dating, she informed me that if she ever left, I would fail. She predicted that if I began working in a kitchen as a dishwasher, I would never make any friends. Apparently, she forgot how outgoing and friendly I am. All of the waitresses adored me, and I progressed from dishwasher to working in the line to being asked if I wanted to bartend. I was overweight at the time, and my self-esteem and confidence were in shambles so I didn't pursue a career in bartending. She didn't like how many people ended up like me, particularly the females. Throughout our marriage, any time my wife and I went out drinking, she would invariably wind up twerking on the wall or the floor and allowing people to videotape her. She flirted with everyone and had several of my close friends convinced that I wanted to do a with her. I don't drink very frequently, but one Halloween I drank too much at a friend's party and ended up passing out and spitting up all over the place. While I was doing that, she was in the restroom with men who were showing her off in exchange for free coke, and who knows what else. But she persuaded me that nothing had occurred, leading me to believe that I was insane and that everyone else was incorrect. Basically, you're gaslighting me. I'm currently seeing a therapist, 
and I'm discovering that she really simply requires constant attention from other sources. Getting it from her hubby was insufficient. I realize we all have problems, and our marriage was far from flawless. I know I still love and care for her, but I'm not going to be a backup or a second option. I hate comparing my situation to hers, but it helps me feel better right now. I have my own apartment, a dog, happy children, my own car, money, and I'm in university. And even though I feel like utter, I'm going through the feeling so that I can truly move on and attempt to be at peace. Whereas she is living with her mother, has a damaged car, no vehicle, is begging for money from me, and is living on serve, COVID money, is miserable depressed, thought the grass was greener and it isn't. She is so scared of being alone with her thoughts that she sometimes sleeps with her mother or the children. She will not go on once I have. I'm not sure whether she'll ever move on since she's stubborn and realizes she made a mistake. Finally, I'm not sure why she cheated and left, but she still texts me, as with me, and tells me how much better I'm doing than she is. It befuddles the intellect. But on the other hand, how can you comprehend someone who doesn't understand themselves? I'm doing great, but some weeks I'm simply so sore. It's as if she ripped my heart out, fractured it, and then smacked the other person on top of the shattered parts. That's the end of the narrative. There's so much more I could say and backstory I could provide, but I believe this is sufficient. Thank you for your time. Please feel free to ask any queries you may have. It's a challenging time to be separated, cheated on, and covet all at the same time. Story 2. I gave my coworker a Valentine's Day card. This has been bothering me for the last two days, and the worst part is that I don't believe I did anything wrong. I began my new work around six months ago. It's just a tiny hobby store, so it's not a major chain or anything. I only work with a few employees, all of whom I get along with. One of them, on the other hand, I've met with twice outside of work for coffee. We're both in our late twenties, in case anybody was wondering, and I thought we loved each other's company. She's a geek, much like me, and we share a love of a popular movie series, I'm not comfortable providing any more details. I should also explain that I'm a budding cartoonist. I draw a lot, and my style isn't perfect, but I'm working on it. She's expressed many times what her favorite moment in the series is, so for Valentine's Day, I purchased her a secret pal card and sketched said scenario on the inside. I should note that it's a PG action movie, so there's nothing wrong or suggestive about the scene. Given that I'm the newest and need assistance on a regular basis, I sent a message thanking her for all of her assistance over the last several months. I didn't provide my name, but based on our previous talks outside of work, I figured she'd recognize me as the one who'd given her the card. I also believe the secret friend part was a joke since our company offered the exact same card, so it didn't seem out of place. I left it at her desk while she was out of the office. However, since I've done so, I really believe her attitude toward me has shifted in a negative direction. She seemed to be less interested in chatting and hasn't mentioned it at all. Her comments are now blunt rather than demonstrating a desire in further communication and this has been the case since the 14th. The last thing I'd ever want to do is make someone uncomfortable or creeped out, so doing it took a lot out of me since I expected she'd appreciate the work of putting together a sketch of her favorite scenario and saying thank you. That is all that is on the table. But, as a result of this transformation, I felt terrible shame and some pretty dreadful sorrow since it seems like she thinks I'm some sort of predator. I'm afraid to bring it up and inquire about it. Please accept my apologies if this message seems to be an overreaction of any sort. I simply have a lot of social hangups, so even the little things make me feel terrible. Thank you for reading, if nothing else.